Good morning, morning Lancaster Catholic. Catholic. It's Friday, February 27th, 2015. Scheduled day A, rotation 8-9. I'm Sarah Hartman. And I'm Connor O'Grady. Thon raises millions at Penn State. It raises spirits at Lancaster Catholic. And it raises controversy at ESPN. This, this is, is the, the Week in, in Review. Review. Penn State held its annual huge fundraiser this week. Thon raised $13.2 million to fight childhood cancer and help families with the financial burden. The 46-hour event packed the Bryce Jordan Center with 15,000 people. In the crowd was a delegation from Catholic High. Mark Goldbach talked to one student who was there for the third time. Hello, Lancaster Catholic. I'm here with Michael Jakonski, chairperson of Minithon at our very own Lancaster Catholic. So, Michael, as we all know, Thon was this weekend. How many people from Lancaster Catholic went? Uh, at least 10 current students along with, along with countless alumni who were in participation there. And did you enjoy it? I mean, how was it? It, it was overwhelming, the amount of support and dedication these students give. Uh, the, the energy inside the arena is immense, and it's, it's hard to beat in terms of ex exciting. So does attending this bigger thon at Penn State, this large university, does it help or inspire you in terms of planning our own mini-thon? Very much so. We use a lot of events that Thon uses at, at their event, and we incorpor try and incorporate them into our mini-thon so we can make it as much as the same here at Lancaster Catholic. And when is our mini-thon? Our mini-thon is March 27th to 28th from 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. And if you want to sign up, do so by February 28th, and you can enjoy the greatest night of your life. Thanks, Michael. And remember, sign up for mini-thons for the kids. Penn State's thon is the inspiration of our mini-thon. The money we raise is part of the $127 million donated to the Four Diamonds Fund since 1977. It was a tweet about the fundraiser that got an ESPN reporter suspended. Keith Olbermann has long been a critic of Penn State. So when a student boasted about a successful thon by tweeting Penn State's signature phrase, we are, Olbermann responded, pitiful. Students alumni, and many others were outraged. Olbermann apologized, but ESPN took him off the air for the rest of the week. This week, Hollywood bestowed its highest honors. Birdman won the Academy Award for Best Picture. It made only $76 million in limited release, compared that to the $430 million in ticket sales for the blockbuster American Sniper. So Lancaster Catholic, tell us who you think the real winner is. Use your iPad to type in the link picture below and give us your opinion. While American Sniper was getting shut out at the Academy Awards, a real-life drama was unfolding in a Texas courtroom. A jury rejected an insanity defense and convicted a former Marine of murdering the true-life American Sniper, Chris Kyle, and his friend. The men were gunned down at a school shooting range two years ago by the war veteran they were trying to help. Love is in the air. Following Lady Gaga's engagement, another celebrity decided to pop the question. This week, Olympic gold medal swimmer Michael Phelps took the plunge. He proposed to his fiancée, Nicole Johnson, on Saturday evening. Now, Stefan Gerovacillus has a look at the week in sports. The Crusader girls basketball team kept their postseason alive by beating York Suburban 39-35 in their district playoff. The girls secured a spot at States with this win. On Sunday, Joe Lobeck won the 113-pound wrestling championship with a 6-2 victory over, uh, over Upper Dolphins Coy Campbell in the Hershey Park Arena. John Pledger was one of three bowlers to score a perfect 300. It was John's third perfect game of the season. He looks ahead to competing in districts next and then going to regional state tournament. The 2014-2015 LCHS swim team just finished their regular season with a strong year. The girls had one of their best seasons in quite a few years, going 5-4 and four and finishing third in their section. The boys finished second in their section two competition, just one win short of the league title. They finished second with a record of 6-3 and three and swam to a seventh place finish at the league meet. A note of importance, LCHS swimmers are the only double-A team in a, in a section of triple-A teams. Joey Logano won for the first time at Daytona 500. He is the second youngest to ever win at the age of 24. And after the race, he simply stated, I don't know how to party. I'm Stefan Gervasilis. Windows is coming out with a new software, Windows 10. This update simplifies Windows 8 and incorporates Cortana, the Windows version of Siri. 
This system also has a holographic capability that a pair of Windows glasses or hollow lens enable. The future is here, folks. Finally, for all you bacon lovers out there, the Hot and Ready King has a real treat for you. Little Caesars is offering the new, the bacon wrapped crust, deep, deep dish pizza. This weighs in at a whopping 450 calories a slice, three times as much as a regular slice. Each slice is topped with cheese, pepperoni, bacon bits, and is wrapped in three and a half feet of thin, crispy bacon. The calorie busting pie goes on sale at $12 in April. But if you're trying to build your beach body for senior week, I wouldn't pig out too much. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend, weekend Crusaders. Crusaders.